Hello. Okay. Hi, I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. This one is a Toyon Mini engine. It is two-cylinder air-cooled. And today we are going to see how to start this one. Actually, this one, uh, ESC are a little different. It is a 3S battery. Uh, I put a welded one switch. And you see this the starting motor, it is a brushless motor. So it, that's why I need the ESC. Two-cylinder, two heating wire, 1.5 voltage, 1.5 volt, and uh, two glue plug already inside. And the negative line, the wire is here. Here is a connection. So, and here, this side, this one is the carburetor. This carburetor and uh, the suction oil line, this oil tank inside is the methanol. Uh, this one, you can plug it in. Actually, if too much vibration will be coming off, so I take it off. If you want to secure it, uh, I can put a little glue. So here is the air suction and the air going inside, mix with the oil, then we'll go to two cylinder, two channel, go inside two cylinder. And now, this one downside is the auxiliary needle. Auxiliary needle, the screw is from bottom. If you have to adjust, you have to take out this one, so you can put the screw there to adjust. This one I already closed. And this one, main oil needle also almost closed, only crack open. That's why I can't believe it. So the carburetor from each engine, single cylinder, two cylinder, four, four cylinder, the carburetor are really different. So from engine to engine. And uh, even same type. So when you're adjusting, what I'm doing is only for reference. So how to adjust your engine, the carburetor, oil needle, you have to slowly adjust to find the best position to start your engine. Okay, so now this auxiliary oil needle is closed. Main oil needle, it is crack open. So I only now will adjust this one. Crack open, close, all can start, but if you want to maintain running well condition and uh, uh, very low idle speed, you have to adjust slowly. Let's start this one. Okay, so close a little bit. This only crack open the this air inlet. This is closed. This is full open, closed. Okay, let's try. Have to open a little. Yeah, if we close too much, this is air and oil mix not enough will stop and this one i haven't adjust perfect because sometimes we will stop and if we're running speed up too fast also we will stop so have to do more adjust slowly again and this inside carburetor maybe need to clean because almost all full closed and to the needle maybe need to adjust to open it to check one by one Side. So here this tool is the exhaust now could be already very hot. This you see the exhaust have some oil not fully burned, means the oil going inside still a little more. Should be but already I closed this well. So really this carburetor need to do more adjust, maybe open all to the needle need to do some adjustments. So can adjust more finely to let the oil less inside. Okay, let's try to start again. Ah, need to see. So this one is uh, the crankcase outlet. So the piston, the cylinder piston, it is, and the camshaft, and uh, camshaft different. Camshaft is on top. Now this one, the main shaft, it is all lubricated from this fuel. This fuel, it is also mixed with 1 to 25, the, the lube oil, 
So one low boil uh, to 25, the maximum. Okay, so as the camshaft is this one. This one inside is the camshaft. It is lubricated by grease. If you open this top cover, you will see the uh, camshaft and the oil and each valve, how it open for the exhaust valve and the air inlet valve. And this one, when you turn it, you will see here, this camshaft have this mark, downside have the mark. So every time this camshaft, this mark downside, this position, so the main shaft, this, ma this mark also should be downside. If it is not, same time downside, uh, this one, camshaft downside, main shaft downside, if no, you have to take out this fan, this pulley, and uh, adjust the, uh, this, this belt, and uh, adjust the turning to be same time downside. So that's the right timing. As I said, this one, the oil need to all closed, and the oil suction still too much. One thing is this oil tank level. You can put it down so more, uh, more hard, more vacuum need to make the oil suction so which the oil go inside will be less. Also you can, so this oil level, it is also influence how much oil go inside. So when you're adjusting, try to keep the oil level downside or top, don't change. After you change, you have to change the oil needle again. Okay, so, uh, and this one you see different from the uh, one cylinder engine. This carburetor is left side. Another one cylinder carburetor is this side. So you can use this handle to control the throttle, but this one you cannot, you see. This one is downside, and uh, this one cannot use, huh? but the seat, this position, you can put a longer screw, four screw to secure this engine on the, the base. The base you can use, but you can, you cannot use the handle. And this carburetor bet to keep this rock arm downside, because this oil go inside and drop down, and oil air blow inside, making better oil air mix. If you turn this screw take out, turn it around, this side up, and the oil needle down, the oil is flowing down, not going to the airport, so the oil mix is not perfect. So keep this one downside for better oil mist. Okay, so that's all for starting this engine. Any questions, any suggestions, will be welcome. Thank you very much. We will see each other again.